Hello and welcome to the Angry Scotsman's YouTube channel. Um, making an entry for the International Quarantine Car Show that uh, DeBoss Garage is doing. Uh, doing the my 2004 Chevy 2500 series truck. Doing the for uh, um, mint and ingenuity and bracketry. Uh, is what I'd like to enter for. Uh, bracketry, I would like to enter into Exhibit A for alternators. They're all linked together. So that's the main one, still hooked to the original bracket. And then from there, it's bracketed to this, bracketed to that one, and then to that one. And they're all integral to keeping each other from not falling off the truck. Um, why four alternators? Shits and giggles. Uh, it's all fun and game until somebody giggles and shits. It was back in the day, uh, my late husband had a semi-truck that didn't want, want to run in the winter. And this is the truck that I built. Uh, 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 yep, she's a little mint. Busted switch. Uh, it runs like a bag of shit right now. Um... Oh, for ingenuity, we've got uh, an Arduino run touchscreen. So all those buttons there go back to what's under here. Run off of that Arduino and those 16 relays. My wiring is something to be desired, I know. It's still a work in progress. <clears throat> I haven't quite cleaned it up just yet. Uh, we've got inverter, dash cam, Arduino, uh, two uh, delay timers. One is for my amateur radio, which is up on the center console. So amateur radio, normal radio, had to make room for it. And then the dash cam runs off of that one, which also has a receiver that runs my camper cameras as well. I have another box exactly like that one in my camper that runs on that receiver which is channel two to that one four channel um bracketry again 3d printed bracket that flips up and runs on the roof um 3d printed mount for the screen 3d printed mount for the inverter switch on and 3d printed mounts for the radios and custom uh, center console from work scraps. And over in the floor there is another 3D printed bracket for our uh, gauge pod, I should say. 3D printed gauge pod. Uh, right now it's over there because it, the glue let go and it fell over. <laughs> Uh, in the back to run all this I have the option for two batteries in here and two more batteries here one of which is currently running um, and then back here further back we have sequential taillights that goes that one's on and then they follow out uh, same goes with the front end uh, cab lights. I have uh, that one, that one, and that one. And it sequentials out, and then the other one, it goes the other direction. I've got more lighting than I can shake a stick at. Each one is independently run by the switch panel that you saw on the dash. <clears throat> and then I've got... 99 front end on an 04 and I know there's going to be haters out there that are saying blasphemy But I like the front end of a 99 over the 04 any day I had a 99 that was identical to this one um, I uh, Got rid of it because it was requiring too much work bought this one for 4,500 bucks and I've sunk quite a lot of time into it 
Um, the only thing that doesn't fit from a, a 99 on an 04 is the bumper, so I had to make my own. And uh, I think it turned out nicely. Everything that I've done on this truck is basically uh, made by me, one way or another. I don't buy it, I build it. It may not look like a lot, but it's my little slice of heaven, I guess. <laughs> it's keeping me out of trouble. Um, strobes. <laughs> boost, 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 boost. Front light doesn't exist. Roof light. <laughs> 